Hello Darth Vegan here, back with another new KSP series. We're going to be doing a Destination Duna series in which we're going to go to Duna and establish a base there. But first we have to establish a base around the Mun or the Moon or the Mune, however you want to pronounce it, and uh, use it as a gateway. And so we're going to be playing mostly vanilla. I do have a few mods installed. I will have a list of those mods in the description below. But let me introduce you to the Kerbals we're going to be using. This is Mr. Salad. This is Soviet Fox. This is Alistair Kerman. This is Ace Kerman. This is Wooten Spaghetti. And this is Scott Kerman. Oh yeah, Scott gives me the nice salute. Right on cue. So these, uh, these six Kerbals will be who we are starting with. If you are interested in having a Kerbal added to the series, be sure and join my Discord. Take a look at the KSP channel on my Discord and leave a description of who you want your Kerbal to be and what kind of suit you want them to wear. I will design custom suits at your, uh, at your request. Uh, I'm not super great at it, but uh, I can do a little bit. So let me know. I'll give it a shot. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so just for the uh, just for my little introduction, there we've gotten a little bit of money and uh, almost 50 science to get started with, so that's great. And we did go ahead and get the world's first milestones. We performed an EVA test at home, performed the test of one of our experiments at home. We've broken a speed record of 25 meters per second somehow. Don't know, not sure how we did that. Or broke at a speed record of 80 meters per second. I didn't do. We just somebody apparently can run 80 meters per second. We have returned to the surface. We have recovered our first crew from a mission. So easy money there. That was just for me showing the Kerbals there on the crawlway. So what are we going to do? Well, the first thing we need to do is go to research and development. And use up some of this 50 science that we've got here. So we start with our very initial research there. Pretty rudimentary. I am going to go to the Engineering 101 and grab some additional science and whatnot. And grab that. That's only five science. All right, then we're also going to unlock Rocketry to give us liquid fuel. There we go. And now we have the ability to grab some survivability, which will be good. This will be excellent. Grab that. We will grab a general rocketry to give us the Reliant and some additional fuel tanks, or we could get stability. Mm, I'm thinking maybe stability to get these radial decouplers and nose cones and winglets. Now let's do that. All right, very good. Okay, so just getting started, we already have several things unlocked. So let's go into the VAB and make our first vessel. All right, so we have here the MK1 command pod. We are going to put together a rocket that hopefully will get us into orbit. I hope we should. I think we can do it. I think we can get into orbit with just the parts that we have here. And I feel pretty good about it. I'm going to go ahead and put on a radio antenna there. And we are going to put on some science as well. Put on these mystery goo containers. There we go. We'll put on a thermometer and a press map barometer. Actually, you know what? Let's put those on the front here. Not blocking the door. And we'll put a parachute on top. Bink. And we will... I don't think we need a heat shield, but I'm going to put one on there just because we're going to turn it down. We don't need that much. Let's just put down about probably about 60 should be good. Okay. And then we're going to put on a decoupler. Go. And some fuel tanks. So all we really have is the FLT 100s. Let's take a look and see if we can get into orbit with these bad boys. Let's try something like that. And for the engine, we'll use the Reliant. The Reliant. That will give us 1,866 Delta V with this, uh, this stage. So we're going to put on a second stage here. And we'll grab... Move this up just a little bit. 
We'll grab all these guys. Put them down there. That will get us up to 2776. All right, so let's just grab a couple more of these. That's 3000, man, that's close. That's almost enough to get us into orbit. If I put on a couple of these radial decouplers, like so, now we put on some of these little hammers, I think that should grab us into orbit. Ooh, too heavy. Just by barely. Hmm. That's 37.76. That's, man, that's so close. So close. Hmm. Not quite. Not quite. Alright, well this won't quite get us into orbit, but it should get us close. Let's see if we can get some aerodynamics on here. Still got room for one more part. So let's take those off and let's grab just these basic winglets. Hmm. Do something like this. Okay. Man, so close, so close. Can't quite make it into orbit with this Delta V, but we will get very, very close. We'll get some good science as well, and I think this will be fine. We're gonna go ahead and put this engine there with them. 3598, so close. I mean, technically, if I did it perfectly, we could probably get into orbit, but I would have to do it like perfectly, and I, I don't think I'll be able to achieve it. I'm too rusty, too rusty. So I don't think that's gonna happen. But we are going to name this guy the Mark I Lifter. Okay. Mark I Lifter. And I think we are ready. Who is going to pilot this thing? Well, I think it will be Ace. Ace gets to be the first pilot because he is the man. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And let's get this thing on the launch pad. One critical component that I have forgotten is to add ourselves a mission here. So let's see what's available. Uh, perform experiments around KSC. Okay, I'll do that once we get a little bit of uh, mobility. Uh, not not yet. Uh, let's see. Contract get a altitude of 18 kilometers. Okay, that should be easily done and escape the atmosphere. Oh, this one is not manned. This was a probe, so I don't want that one. Let's escape the atmosphere and have a manned altitude record of 18 kilometers. Get out both of those contracts. There we go. I think we should be able to achieve that pretty easily. All right, we are going to lift off with about, well, we'll go full throttle lifting off and then we'll throttle down to about three quarters and uh, utilize our thrusters here as much as possible. So, we are ready to launch in three, two, one, lift off. All right, throttle down about three quarters. Let's see if I can start pushing over a little bit. This thing is wild. Child, man, I tell you. Wild child. Okay, Oof. I'm having a hard time holding her steady, I'll tell you that. Drop our thrusters, and we are going to start pushing over more aggressively. There we go. Don't want to flip over. Oof. And I am having a hard time controlling this thing because I don't have SAS on it. Okay, well that'll help. There we go. <laughs> like I said, I'm a little rusty. A little rusty. Okay. That could have been a lot better if I would have used SAS from the beginning. Let's go up to about 80,000 and then we'll kill it. All right. Awesome. Go ahead and take one of our mystery goos from this height. And now we have a flying high. All right, I do have uh, for science, so it should get all of our science automatically. Yes, we've got uh, nine experiments already from our um, basically our non-renewable 
science research uh, gets done automatically. So, all right, well, as we approach the apoapsis, we will continue our burn. I don't think we'll make it into orbit at this point, but uh, we'll get really close. So let's go ahead and speed up time just a little bit, get closer to our apoapsis. Yeah, definitely not going to have quite enough to get into orbit. But we'll, we'll do as much as we can. Get up to about 15 seconds or so. All right, are we ready? We are ready. And initiate burn. Get us as close as you can to orbit ACE. Leave enough to, uh, if you do get us into orbit, leave enough to get us out of orbit. All right, let's take a look at the old map here. You can see our trajectory is expanding. It's getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. Oh, so close, so close. That's it. Uh, so close. So close to getting in orbit with our first uh, rocket here, but not quite. All right, let's observe our mystery goo from here. All right, good. We now have two experiments, so that's good. And I could probably retrieve all of this. We'll try to. We will try to retrieve all of it. It'll give us a little bit extra money if I can. Um... If not, we'll, we'll jet. It, it looks like it's going to blow. We'll, we'll jettison it and get uh, get home safely. The most important thing is to get home safely. And we have breached the atmosphere now at this point. We are going to return. Oh, all right. We are returning to the atmosphere. Pretty hot, but so far so good. Let's give it a little gentle spin. Just a gentle spin. We've got some milestones as we come in here. You can take a look at those. Oh yeah, nice. Huge space, good. Good milestones there. Get a little hot. I think we're gonna make it. As long as the parachute can can uh, carry the weight here, that's the biggest thing. And of course, we don't want to get overheated. Alright. We are just about safe now. We're going to go ahead and pop the chutes here in just a moment. After our speed decreases enough, we'll leave all these parts attached. Recover as many as we can. Okay. If we can slow down enough. That's going to be a big if. This thing is flying through the air. Okay, let's deploy. If that thing will slow us down. And shoot has fully deployed. Let's see how slow we go here. Yeah, we're under 10 meters per second, so we're good. Alright, we lost a few parts on splash down there. But uh, overall, we're okay. <laughs> okay. We got uh, 100 science from that. That's great. And we got back uh, 3,000 funds for our parts. So that's excellent as well. Ace Kerman got a little bit of experience. That's excellent. Let's take a look at our contracts that were completed. So we got the manned altitude of 18 kilometers. Okay. And we splashed down into the ocean, which is good. Let's see, what, what was their other mission? Uh, escape the atmosphere. Why did that? Oh, because it has to be a probe. I did not see that. Well, poo on you. Poo on you. Okay, well. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get that. Uh, that's, that stinks. I do have some, um, some missions to do some tests. Those should be able to do be done easily. I'm going to try to do several small episodes of the series at a time. I don't think I'll be able to do one every day, but I'm going to try to do this first week. It'll just be one episode. And then in subsequent weeks, I'm going to try to do multiple episodes. But this first week, just be one episode. So I hope you have enjoyed it. We will go 
uh, into the science and unlock some parts for the next episode. And hopefully I might be able to do... Uh, what was the limiting factor? Was it the launch pad for 50k? Yes, the weight of the vehicle is only 18 tons. If I upgrade that, I can go up to 140 tons. And we might be able to get into space. Um, the parts limitation will still be relatively close. I may have to take no science up so that we can get some additional uh, additional parts on our rocket. But I think we can get into orbit with the next launch. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.